Okay guys, uh, welcome back. We're over here in Gatlinburg off of Glades Road. Got a got a car with one wheel in the air, he says. That's always fun. Absolutely beautiful day. 75 degrees. that trash. Definitely. I'm trying to wipe down traffic. We're going up, up, up. Did he tell you it was a Penske truck? Uh, he did not say anything about a Penske truck. <laughs> he just said a truck, didn't he? Yeah. Why do I feel like this is our truck? Definitely, it's our truck. You did not say a Pinsky truck. Well, that kind of changes things a little bit. It definitely does. Is this the same FedEx guy? He is in it. This is the, surely this is not the same FedEx guy. I bet it is. He needs to he, no. He needs to change professions if this is <laughs> if this is the same. <laughs> My dude, this is not for you. <laughs> we don't know though. It could be somebody completely different. No, you're going to be able to get this thing out of there with this. Oh, it's the same dude for sure. Poor little feller. That's his Oh, my goodness. What's happening, man? We meet again. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He's down in there, huh? Oh, it's in it. Uh, okay, we'll see if we can get it to. Did you back into it or did you drive into it? Back. Back into it. Yeah. I made it to work for you up the road down the back. Nah, that's the bad part, man. Yeah, you get up there and you're like, nah, I can't turn around now. Yeah. Uh, let me pick this side. looking. Yeah. Yeah, if uh, if the back end will allow me to I should be able to get around him. Just, it's buried, the hog's head's buried, so I'm gonna have to lift it. I think it'll have to come backwards. But it backed into it. It's, I mean, it's, it's sunk. The whole leaf spring and everything is on the. Were you over here? Did you fly? Yeah, it's. <laughs> yeah, it's got a, I mean, it's, and then the tank, too. Oh, okay. Probably wouldn't be a good idea to continue the, hopefully I can get it lifted and moved over this way. I might have to come over this way just a smidge. 
Uh, but if I can get it lifted and he can turn hard left, then we should be able to whoop, swing it out. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna come over this way just a little bit more. Okay. Uh, probably one, but I'll probably double back. the yeah the one uh, on that side yeah that's enough maybe I'm gonna guess hard left. Alright, so hard left. Alright, what do you need him to do? Nothing just yet. Well, that worked. He still has a gas tank, and we didn't tear anything up. So, okay, guys. Um, I'm glad it wasn't overly loaded. It was heavy, no doubt. My front tires were coming up in the air. Um, gosh, dang, what a what a cool view over there. Absolutely beautiful. Making sure he's getting turned around before I leave him up here stranded. Bless his heart. He said he said the leaves were deceptive, and we've discussed that before. The leaves on the edges. Yeah, sometimes you can't tell where where the edge of the road is and uh, nothingness begins. But yeah, he's, <laughs> he's learning some hard lessons uh, quick within just a few weeks here. He can't be much older than <clears throat> Goodness. He, he can't, he's like early 20s. Yeah, he's. He's doing the best he can. He's working, making a living. He's, he's hard at it, that's for sure. Um, and I, you know, I, I gotta get, hand it to him, man. This uh, box truck is probably one of the hardest things you'll you'll navigate our area in. It's, uh, is that a bear running across there? Is that a dog? I've seen something go zooming across that parking lot up there. Oh, that's dogs. Big dogs. <laughs> I was like, that's a Very big large dog. Very black dogs. But yeah, guys, he's—it's it, tough. You—you can't—you can't see anything. You're relying on 
mirrors. Um, I recommend those little, the little bitty triangles that you can buy at uh, you know Walmart or the parts store um, that give you a view of your back tire and kind of zooms in the little magnifying glass thingies you put on your mirrors. I, I try to put those on pretty much all of our vehicles. Uh, they really help as far as being able to see where your tire placement is and uh, almost a crucial thing for backing up for sure. But uh, yeah, he's, wow, poor fella. This is such a difficult area to to try to drive stuff like that and try to deliver stuff. And, you know, everybody orders stuff now, you know. Yeah, it's a world deliver. of, everybody wants it brought to them and you know, like you said, you got you get down there and you can't back, you can't turn around, so you, you're forced to back up. And you know, it's not like backing up a little pickup truck or a car or even an SUV. It's you just can't see, you can't see anything. But like I said, beautiful day out. Avoid some potholes over here and <laughs> manhole covers on glades. That's about possible. And uh, yeah. Anything else for you? No. I'm going to find some food. Gorgeous day. I'm hungry. Okay. Stick around. Stay tuned. All right, YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Um, got me and Coben here tonight. Kristen's taking a... Turn left onto Sunset Drive. I don't know what she's doing. She's taking a break. Hey, that was my turn. That was your turn right there. Let's do well, a UE. We're going to have to do a UE up here. Um, kind of concerning. Miles. Turn left onto Fenway Drive. Head north on Parkway toward Hotel Pigeon Forge Road. We're lost, guys. Um, In a quarter mile, make a U-turn at Music Road. Music Road. Anyway, we got a Jeep Gladiator that's stuck. That's always alarming, huh? In 500 feet, turn right onto Sunset Drive. If you get your Gladiator Head stuck, south toward Parkway. there might be a problem. Turn right that onto guy's Parkway, then turn it. right onto Sunset Drive. Turn right onto Sunset Drive. Uh, just a couple of minutes away. It was just right off the parkway here. In a um, mile, turn left onto Fenway Drive. Said he went the wrong... Try to do a cut through, or I'm not real sure what the deal is. Hopefully we can find him. It's usually where it floods down here, guys. We get a lot of... I don't know, we've, we've winched out a couple of people out of the floodwaters that down here by the bridge, but I don't think he's quite down Turn that left. far. Then your destination will be on the left. Oh, he's... Yes, he's down here. Oh my goodness, it looks intense. I can't even see the road. You're good down here. He's like up in the house. Looks like he's in the living room. Yeah, that's uh... Head northeast on Hickory Lane toward Shiloh Road. Let's get out and look first. This is going to be intense. Like he's he's like in those yeah he's like in their freaking living room. I'll get that. I don't even know, man. I I mean, no. <laughs> What's happening, my guy? Please. Huh? Please. You okay, buddy? Yeah. I'm very stressed out. I would imagine, I would imagine so, yes. What, uh, you said you took the... Yeah, we're with the tow truck. He just called me to remove this thing. Uh, so, uh, this one's, like, uh, this front tire, um, it's flat. Okay. And it, we come here? Yeah, I can see. I can see you. You got a flat. And, um, and you're up on some boulders there, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you, you explained it to me when you, when you called. Um, yeah. I'm going to leave him with you guys. I, I think there might be a little. <laughs> That'll be me. All right, guys. Uh, 
we got the PD. They're running some. I believe he's drunk, so we're gonna we're gonna bow down out of this one. And I'm not sure what'll happen, but I'll get you guys some outcome. All right, guys. Uh, like I said, I'm not sure how he got down here. The road and the church we came in on from up there. Um, looks like he just. I totally missed the whole road, I guess. I don't even see any tracks other than... Unless he came from... Oh, yeah, it looks like he did come from down there. But he is he is up on some rocks, and um, it's crazy. Uh, but the police, we might not get this one. It might go to uh, Pigeon Forge. We're not on Pigeon Forge's rotation, so it might go to their impound. I just go down there to the bottom. We'll turn around down there someplace. Okay, guys, it's it's pretty much just what I thought. Um, they're not going to let us take it. Even though we were called before the police got there and it was on private property and not blocking any sort of roadway, and we probably could have got it cleared before any other tow truck could have possibly gotten there. You know, it's, it's kind of a bum deal. Uh, I don't really like the way that plays out because you know it's at the end of the day he called me and we showed up here first um and then it's kind of like it's kind of like they're stealing our our job are stealing our our work really because you know they're gonna they're gonna call whoever's next on rotation and they're gonna give them the them the call even though he called me um and you know i, I understand you know they're they're doing their thing and they've got rules they need to follow but you know at the end of the day it's it's like I told him you know it's a bum deal that we're we're wasting time and wear and tear and diesel you know we've you know we're out it was like I said 8 41 when he called me so it's 9 30 now um so, you know I'm I'm over here spending an hour of my time and and uh you know essentially we'll just leave and they'll they'll do their thing but um I ain't mad at you Pigeon Forge PD, you do a good job. Maybe someday we can get on your rotation list and we can avoid uh, we can avoid what this has brought us here this evening. And I know I'm going to get the question, and yes, I have reached out several times to get on the uh, Pigeon Forge police rotation list, and it seems to be a very secretive process. All right, guys, that's about all I got to say about that. Uh, you know, anyway, you got the story and you got to see what the situation was. Probably going to be an easy pull off the rocks and straight to impound. That poor fellow's going to, I guess, need to sober up. Okay, I know I said I was done with my rant, but um, like I said, at the end of the day, the customer does have the right to request, and uh, he did call us for service. And it's kind of frustrating because we do get a lot of calls for the Pigeon Forge area. and We've got everything that we need, all of our business license and our insurance and, and everything to make this happen. But I'm afraid to answer calls for service, you know, in the Pigeon Forge area because, you know, we'll get that call. We'll send a tow truck out, we'll get on scene, and uh, then, you know, ultimately we'll get turned down. So it's a little frustrating and I haven't raised any sort of fuss. But, uh, you know, hey, I might start fussing. Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. I have uh, never gotten anything from this lot. Been up here a few times and tried. It's a black super cross track next to a full size truck. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there's no way. EMY 9594. Yeah, there's no way. Okay. That was that truck there, is there? I don't think so. Face the other way. <laughs> and then I couldn't make that corner down there. I don't think you'd be able to get out of there either with that truck up there. Somebody's already totally wiped out that truck. And try to oh grab gosh. it. Mm -hmm. The problem is there's a ledge over here. I know. How close am I? 
Well, you're up on the ramp of the ledge. Can I come your way? Yeah. Really not a lot of things Would you like me to get out? I don't want you to take out the corner of that truck. Well, I'm gonna need to come your way some more. Okay. Hold on, watch that truck. I see the truck, I can't see your ledge. Okay. Yes, I can see the truck. Okay. Okay, well, your front tire is going to. Still got a little bit before you're coming off the lip. Okay, you're. No, that's not going to work. You're going to turn too much and you're going to get your door in this railing. Auto. All right, we'll get a walk around to this thing. You see, someone already hit that truck there. They're not with that shop. Shop owner has already spoken to us. The one that requested our us to come and get this. Go on the other side. That was a tent. Really close to the Fiat over here. Front wheels are turned. Subaru, so it's all wheel. Parking brake set.
the hard part begins. Yeah. How the dolly. heck do we get it out of here? Dollies on top of, uh, I guess it's not rolling at all. No, it's all wheel drive in the parking right now. Well, I've got the wheels up in the back. Yeah, I know, but it's all wheel drive. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, it's all wheel drive in the parking right now. Um, I guess we try. Oh no, uh-uh. That don't have to go on the safety latch until we get out of the parking lot. Okay. And that's gonna be we're gonna have to pull out this way and we're gonna have to back all the way to the road. You'll never make that corner down there. This is even worse. Look at that truck with a hitch on it back there. Yeah. Well, it's a little wide down there though. Unless I can somehow get it up into here so I can turn around. Oh, lordy. That might be... That might be better since it goes all the way back to that wall. Yeah, well, you stay away from this. To that ledge, so the do dollies will fall off. Yeah, the fall off. All right, so the other side and watch it pee out. You can unplug that if you want. Unplugging the mic. I'm gonna watch the Fiat <clears throat> while he pulls out. Oh, hold on. Whew. Okay. My window down? All right.
so I know I'm always like anxious and like telling Jeff to do this and do that and the other and stuff but he listens to me and he's a good driver so I do trust him and he trusts me so if I tell him stop or whoa or look for something then he does he listens and he watches okay we're good here and I try not to freak out too much on him because I know that he listens to me and he does what I ask him to do that's part of our teamwork <laughs> it looks good this needs to go that way <laughs> Team building exercise. <laughs> Back a car with dollies. Done a mountain alley. Hey, whoa, hold up, hold up. Stop. You have to pull forward. Hold up, right there. You'll have to put this dolly back in because it's low. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that's why I was hollering at you to stop. Yeah, I'm like all into the bushes over here. I know. See, you dragged a little bit right there. It's like cheating with the dollies right there. I can hold it up like I'm putting them away and it gets me out of the, in case I don't have enough room to do this part, the break over part. Okay, that'll be better. So what what's going on is that you're coming off this edge right here. Do you see? Am I gonna be able to come back into that parking lot or am I gonna have to go all the way to the road? Um, you might be able to go there in front of that dumpster, but I doubt it because when you come out, you'll come off that ledge there. So all the way to the road it is. All the way to the road. Okay, back at it. Short reprieve. Jeff fixed the dolly. I got a drink. There's like really nowhere for me to go. Kept it up on the road this time. Let me go to the other side. He was thinking maybe he'd get back into here. He might be able to. Jesus. Sorry. That's okay. I just don't want to run over anybody. Excuse us for just one second, please. Thank you.
excellent work. Thank you. That was so nice of all those people to stop and let us back out. Whew. That was intense. Good job. I'm so proud of you. That's crazy. That was crazy. Holding the mic back in. It's probably, uh... Maybe. There. Thank you, man. <laughs> Goodness gracious. That's probably... Uh, get, get to the left. That was worse than five guys. To date, the worst. Yeah, I, I don't know that I've had one that difficult. That is why we record. That right there is why we record. Yeah, that was one of the uh, many reasons. Well, I tried to go the other way, and and that would have gave me a, a clean getaway where I didn't have to back up. But that just that wasn't going to work at all. So, um, backing up is uh, my only option. So when we pulled in, there was a green truck parked over on the right in the alley, mm -hmm. and they were in a no parking zone too, but that wasn't his spot. So yeah. he uh, had no, if that truck wasn't there, you probably could have gotten out that way once you got past the red Fiat. Yeah. But um, he didn't know who it belonged to. Crazy amount of wiggling. Yes. But at the end of the day, uh, that's the worst possible situation is I have to do that and I have to have dollies because the dollies just take up they take up everything that so essentially by putting the dollies on that tiny little car that made it that made it the equivalent hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. made it the equivalent of like trying to get a f-350 out of there or something yeah that was crazy it gives me like another foot and a half on each side. Oh yeah, it makes it extra wide. If this had been any bigger, if it had been longer, wider, whatever, you would not have gotten it out there. Well, I probably should have went ahead and did a lockout and then straightened the steering wheel and then I could have sucked the dollies in by another notch, would have probably gave me another foot in total. And then it would have been probably three extra, three less extra turns. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, at the end of the day, we got it. Um, I was kind of hoping somebody would come running and say, hey, I'll move it. <laughs> Please just drop it. But that was totally not the case. <laughs> so now we get to hear them uh, try and explain to us why they should have parked there and shouldn't have gotten in trouble. So stick around, stay tuned. All of that will be coming your way. I think you guys just towed my Subaru away. Uh, yeah, we just uh, got a call on a Subaru, yes. Yeah, like I said, I, like I, said, I was parked in the wrong spot. I know I was, uh, but I need it back. Okay. So I was wanting to know how to get that back because I work in this parking, like in the shopping center. And I was just unloading stuff. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, Two twenty one Newman Road, uh, here in Gatlinburg, is the pickup address. Okay. Give me one second. I have to write that down, boss. I'm at work. Okay. Uh, you said two twenty one what? Two twenty one Newman Road. Okay. Hi, can I help you? He's not. All right. And you said that's the pickup address. What time does that close? Um, as long as you kind of give me a heads up that you're coming this way, I can I can see if we can uh, get somebody back to the gate. But generally, I'm out of here by about five. Okay. Um, and then what, how much is it going to cost to get it out? Because like um, I said, I know I was in the wrong spot, but I literally just was trying to unload some shit for my store. All right. Sounds good, boss. All right, man. Thank you. Alright, bye. Everything auto is Jeff. Hello, this is Kyle again about the Subaru. I got my cash collected and I'm way up there if someone can meet me. Okay, yeah, we'll get somebody here at the gate. Yeah, sounds good. I'll be there probably in like 10 15. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yep. Kyle was nice. Hey man, you got some keys, I'll bring her up here for you. Yeah. 
All right, get her going here. Yeah. Oh no, we we appreciate you coming, man. Yeah, it it likes to every now and then. Uh, you're okay, man. I like your airstream. Well, thank you. Cool beans. Yeah, the owner of that spot called me, man. I no, like I said, I told him, I said, man, I understand I was there, but I was there for like 10 minutes. I was like, you're a dick. Yeah. Oh, I told him, not you, like, I mean, it's your job. I'm not mad at you, man. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, most people are you the one that me. towed the guy? Yeah, I need that for my, uh, my work's gonna pay yeah, me back. There you go. Yeah. You'll definitely uh, want the receipt. Yeah, my work's gonna pay me back for that. <laughs> um, were you the one that towed the big red truck that had moved the cones that was on YouTube? Yes. So that was our uh, boss. I definitely told him to park in our little, that gravel lot that's over there we're supposed to park. Yeah. And I was like, you are a moron. I said, you moved cones, <laughs> he, parked, and then moved the cones back. He I just, said, Dino, yeah. what were you thinking? And then I showed him your video yeah. I found on YouTube. Yeah, and, man. And I was like, Dino, you're famous. <laughs> he was like, man, fuck. <laughs> I said, we both parked in the wrong spot. We can't be. <laughs> no, it happens sometimes. But yeah, I told but... the koala tea dude, I was like, bro, next time just come. I literally am the store next door. I was like, come next door and be like, bro. Yeah. Hey, man, I, yeah, I wish because that was a bear to get that thing down out I'm of there. I'm sure it was. We backed all the way to the main road and, uh, and that's what I mean, bro. I came and moved in five I, seconds I was, So we were going slow. I'm like, please just let him come out and say, hey, that's my car, that's my car. But it took, I mean, we were up there for like 30 minutes straight trying to get yeah, it out to so the... so like I work for the hemp shop right next door. So yeah. I walked in and there's only one person there today, him. And I was yeah. like, man, I was like, I'm coming here to drop some puff <laughs> off. And he was busy. So I was like, fuck, now I'm gonna... help you for anything? <laughs> like, I for a minute. And then I went back outside and I was like, oh, no. Oh. <laughs> so I walked up to the Gatlin's guy and I was like, Steven, where, do you know what? who towed it, bro? Like, who it was? <laughs> that is the first time we have ever been up there in that line. He's called me several times, uh, but most of the time it's just like. Usually someone in the. In they're the, quick. They'll come the out. The mall is literally yeah. there for like an hour. Yeah. Like I said, man, I was yeah. maybe there for an hour. Like, I know, probably, man. Called, he, I probably just missed you, you then. You literally came after, like I said, someone said they were in a, like in the area smoking. And they yeah. watched you pull up as soon as I like walked out. Really? Yeah, like I wasn't there long. Like That's I crazy. literally walked into the store, was maybe there for five minutes, and I guess he came I, in and called you, and I was like, "Weird time, man. Yeah, we must have missed cool. you." It's cool. It's just my life. Yeah, he but was I like, "I get paid in two days, so I'll get this back in two days." There you go. Well, I'm glad <laughs> they'll really trip. I'm glad they'll reimburse me. I really wanted to get it back tonight because I leave at eleven o'clock tonight, and I was like, "Bro, he's not gonna be at eleven o'clock. Let me get it." Like, That's not gonna happen. Well, but you be I careful, man. Guys. Thank you. Thank fun. you. <laughs> What a nice fella. <laughs> I didn't get yelled at. He didn't say I was a scam. He already knew about the channel. He already knew about the channel. We got an update on the guy that moved the cones. That's a that's some good. That's a good update, YouTube. Stick around, stay tuned. <laughs>